Here near Irish Football Fan TV, we're here in Richmond Park after St. Patrick's Laddick have lost their Europa League qualifier 2 0 at the hands of uh, Swedish side Nothing Tong. Um, so I'm here with keeper Brendan Clark. Brendan, thoughts on the game? A bit disappointing. Yeah, um, very disappointing considering the manner of the goals we, we give away. I mean, the first one we've, we've, we've given it away and we can't get enough bodies back to, to stop to block the shot he's put it in and the second one ends it a header come off Lee's head and gone in so it's disappointing because we know they were they were dangerous on, on set pieces we did a lot of work on that and oh, these things happen don't they so listen we, we just have to go again now over there yeah. was we a little bit more disappointing because after the first half there wasn't really much between us and they, there was only a few half chances they had one really good cha- good chance in the first half that you parried um one that was down the middle of the goal but apart from that it was pretty even uh, how did you feel at half time? Yeah I mean we got in at half time and I mean our objective from, from the game today was to keep a clean sheet and we got in at half time we'd done that and, and look it's disappointing you know we uh, we wanted to play a lot better with the ball um, I thought that we, we didn't do that at all really um, but we still had a we still had a couple of chances in the second half, which you know if one of them goes in. Bermo had to keep us made a good save, two good saves actually off Bermo and Mikey. And you know I think I think we should have had a penalty first half with Shawzi. He's just been body checked out of nowhere in, in, in the box. But um, I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. 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 Uh, maybe that's clutching our straws. I don't know. We uh, haven't seen it's it back. Hard, it's hard to know, like because from where I was, um, like he wasn't going to get to the ball, but at the same time. The, the, the defender did make a yeah. definite move to completely push him out, like out of the way. Like, yeah, look, they're, they're the margins, they're the small margins that you need in, in Europe. A little bit of luck to go your way, and different game if we get that and we stick away the penalty. But sure, listen, we go back to the basics of football. You have to defend properly and keep the ball better and, and not give easy goals away. And you have to feel for, for Trenton tonight, obviously, because th- th- he works so hard. A lot of time, uh, the man management in terms of fouling and breaking it down the play was was on him. Uh, constantly getting fouled and things like that. And he was getting uh, quite a few chances. And in the second half, then, after he's conceded the goal, got to about 70 minutes, he's changed things tactically. And he's kind of getting back into the game. Did he feel around the 70 minutes or so, he just could have got, got, got an equaliser? Yeah, I kind of think the, the first goal kind of knocked the stuff on Elvis a little mm-hmm. bit, you know. and Because uh, it was so early as well in yeah, the second half. Yeah, because, you know, we would We'd got to half time in the law, we'd we'd had a game plan to go out in the second half and to, to give away a goal like that mm-hmm. kinda of knocked the stuff on Elvis a bit, but you know, we, we kinda of reacted well enough after we kinda of got back into the game and a couple of chances and then the sucker punch with the second goal and then so listen we'll we'll go to Sweden, you never know, football's funny, you know, an early goal could could change everything. So we'll we'll put a plan in place to go out there and win the game. Bits of real views because you've such an important game next week in terms of Trying to get through now to the next round, uh, and you turn it down. But also you're playing Chelsea in between that. Like, but I imagine your mindset is thoroughly on next week. Yeah, listen, we'll we'll be in tomorrow. Um, obviously, there'll be changes. The boys need games. The boys will play on, on Saturday against Chelsea and, and stuff like that. And that's up to Harry to, to pick pick a team for that. And yeah, but yeah, we're, we'll be fully focused on the main the main game is next Thursday. You know, Chelsea's just a spectacle for everyone to, to come and watch. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, yeah, the competitive European games the Miami. Um And of course, the last thing I'd say is uh, Larson, uh, young right winger. Obviously, first half and second half, he was he was the one that probably had the better of the chances. Um, obviously, hitting the post as well in the second half. Did you feel like you handled him quite well in the game? To be honest, if you single out one player in Europe, um, you get you get bitten in the arse by someone else, you know. But we, we did our due diligence on them. To be honest, we. Uh, from last Sunday, um, we were in. We were watching video. We we knew their threats. We knew their strengths. Um, we I think we exploited a couple of their weaknesses at times tonight and getting down the sides of the, the back three and and stuff like that. But listen, if you're talking about Larson. Yeah, he's a good player. He's quick. He's he's very good on the left foot. He wants to he wants to cut in on from the right side and use his left foot all the time. But we knew that. I think we we did well. But listen, good players are going to find pockets of space and, and hurt you at times. So we, we we were ready for that. But um, I think. They kept they kept the ball very well, and uh, they moved it very well, and you know we, I think we got a little bit tired and, and ragged at times. So that, you know, it was, listen, disappointing night, and so yeah. you, you don't want to talk about it too much because you say something you might regret. <laughs> well, uh, I really appreciate your time, Brendan. All right, okay, and uh, good best of luck with Cheers. next week. All right.